Hi, this is Ben Morsmer for Hey You Guys, and we're at the Royal Festival Hall in London for the world premiere of The Woman in Black. Later tonight, we'll be speaking to stars of the show, Daniel Radcliffe, and Kieran Hines, Roger Allen, as well as screenwriter Jane Goldman, director James Watkins, and, to be honest, who knows who else. The film's the scariest thing I've ever seen, and uh, frankly, I'm hoping it doesn't get too terrifying around here. But what did you think you could do different from the other genres it's been in? Well, I, 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 well, I think that because um, you know the book itself is a, is a beautifully crafted book uh, and quite thin in the way it's in, Susan's written it. It's in a sort of pastiche of the sort of Wilkie Collins sort of films of the you know the Victorian age. And what she does is she suggests things as opposed to actually saying them specifically. So uh, and then the play, as you know, is a two-hander. So um, I think that you know our aim was to sort of build it build it up into something bigger so that all the set pieces were there which were imagined in the mind of the reader but now you see on screen. So what are you expecting from this then from Woman in Black? to be like a natural progression for Daniel Radcliffe from the Harry Potter movies like he's done lots of scary movies uh, they like because the Harry Potter movies have got scary bits within them but then they're always softened by the kind of family nature of the thing and then this will be properly scary I think like the people that like him will really like it. Well, it's, the film has been getting fantastic responses and we're really thrilled with it and the fact that it's really scaring people from teenagers to, to grown-ups to, you know, cynical, you know, old audiences, you know, and, and, the fact, and I think that's the fact that it really gets into people's imagination and it, in a properly old-school way and that's great. I've seen the film and I'm ever so slightly terrified. <laughs> that's fine, you're forgiven. Even, even if I smile at you, is that okay? Do you think I'm like going to... Lunge at any point. <laughs> How does it feel? I mean, you you are about to be the the face of possibly the scariest horror movie villain in the history of horror movies. How does that feel? Fantastic, I have to say. Yeah, quite chuffed, really. What can you do? It's just occurred to me actually that you've spent it's your last three major film roles have been adaptations of dearly loved books, haven't they? Because Tinker Taylor. All right. And, uh, I don't remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's strange. <laughs> look of surprise on your face. I'll take it that wasn't a deliberate decision. No, that's sort of become fresh news to me. But uh, like when you read uh, the screenplay, if you're lucky enough to you know, attend these things, um, you read them as they are. You know, you don't know all what it's like. And uh, all three of them were terrific. Well, the Potter speaks for itself. But uh, the script for Tinker Taylor was extraordinary. Uh, uh, the levels on which it played on. And then this script with Jane Goldman, the woman in black, was also uh, the descriptive force that she had. Not a lot of dialogue, very spare, but the descriptive force of uh, atmosphere and landscape and uh, what's all hovering around memories. I found very strong, very strong. And, and this is obviously the second film you've been with Daniel in recently. Yeah. So Look, we can't leave each other alone now. Are you the new Rupert Grint? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, Daniel, what are you doing next? Can I come? No, um, no, it was actually uh, it was coincidental, you know, we got for jobs and I, I was very thrilled to be asked into Harry Potter just at the end, but then coincidentally Jason, uh, sorry, James, James Watkins, the director, had seen some work I'd done and thought I might be a good older balance to the young Arthur Kipps who Daniels plays, just somebody who's kind of grounded but also slightly carries a bit of grief because of my long face, maybe, I don't know. Why oh, no. not? What do you expect to be seen? Do you know a lot I just about? Wanna be, I want to be scared. I don't know too much about it. I'll be, I'm a big horror fan, so yeah, I, I just hope it's kind of got an old school factor to it. You know, like some of the new ones, it's a bit too kind of digitally done sometimes. So I hope it's got that kind of old school factor. Just have you seen the play? I haven't. I won't lie, I haven't. I'm I, coming in with fresh eyes, so yeah. I promise you, you're gonna shit yourself. I'm, I'm excited, man. I love it. Sorry, Ben from Hate You Guys. Hi, how are you? Good to meet you, sir. Oh, I know you guys. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we've been stalking you for years. Oh, thanks. So, what do you expect? I mean, you're here at the Woman in Black premiere. It's uh, notorious for being a terrifying play, a terrifying book, a terrifying everything. What are you expecting from this, sir? Uh, I'm expecting to see a dynamic performance from Daniel and uh, hopefully be left on the edge of my seat. A bit of a thriller would be nice. And if you could give Daniel one piece of advice as a former child actor, Moving up into being. That's kind of why I'm here. I'm here to support him into his transition because I know how hard it can be to be labeled and to be boxed into some sort of a franchise. And the fact that he's actually moving forward as an adult actor is a very hard transition. But just stay forward, stay positive, keep focused, peace and love. He'll be great. I'm curious what you think the audience crossover will be. People who are fans of you and fans of the Potter franchise seeing this, what their experience you suspect? Uh, to be honest, like they stuck with me through Equus, so this isn't going to put them off. Like this is a this is a much more. 
the Equus was a much more confrontational thing, I think, as a fan. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I think there'll be a huge crossover. Generally speaking, the Harry Potter fans are, you know, very literate, very, you know, I think Harry Potter in itself teaches people to be open-minded and, 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 and search out other things that they're interested in. So hopefully... Obviously, we're on the uh, red carpet for Woman in Black, which is one of the few films you've written without Matthew Vaughan as your co-writer? Uh, to be honest, Matthew and I don't work as a traditional writing team, so it's, it, it was, uh, I missed Matthew and his brilliant creativity and his presence as uh, you know, a director who knows exactly what he wants. But in terms of my actual writing habits, I'm always in a room on my own anyway. <laughs> so. so working with James as director was more or less the same it's, uh, it, working with James has been awesome. You know, both is lovely. I, I, I can't wait to work with Matthew again, and, and this was great too. So that's it for the Woman in Black premiere. We've had some pretty interesting interviews with some of the cast, some of the crew, and uh, some people who are about to be scared witless when they actually see the film. We've got some more interviews coming up on the site on the 5th of February with Jane Goldman, James Watkins, and Daniel Radcliffe. Check back for them.